and thank you for joining me for Ask Gardener Lynn. Gardening can be a bit tricky sometimes and just a little bit of help can turn on trouble to garden around. So let's keep those gardens on track. So our question today comes from Tony. He lives in Zone 5 and his question is, what is the best way to protect my tomatoes, cucumbers, and squash plants from frost? You know, Tony, this is a really great question and I use four things to protect my plants and doing this should protect your warm weather tender plants down to about 28 degrees Fahrenheit and when I use two frost blankets I can protect the plants another maybe two to four degrees so uh, feel free to put on extra insulative layers okay so the four things the first thing is a support so uh, today this is my uh, cement mesh it's just a wire that we bend and put over the garden you can also use um, the easy trellis design as well and what this does is this keeps the blanket up off the plants and it creates this little envelope in here where the air can be caught and there there is heat radiating up out of the soil and you want that heat to be around the plants so you want your blankets up off the plants that also keeps the cold from penetrating down through the blankets to get to the plants so supportive layer is number one um, number two is your insulative layer and that is your frost blankets if you if all you can find is the really thin ones go ahead and put on a couple layers uh, you can use the comforter off your bed you can use towels if you use sheets use two or three layers of that so then you put your insulative layer on top of your wire and make sure that it covers nicely and then your insulate insulative layer it doesn't work really well when it's wet and a lot of times if you have a storm you usually get rain or snow with it so you want a, a plastic layer that's going to go over your insulative layer to keep the moisture off of your insulation okay and then usually when you get a storm and you get rain and snow you usually get wind so the other thing you want to do is to use some bricks or blocks and um, if I were to do this, this bed would go all the way to the ground, then I would set the bricks or blocks on the insulative layer and the plastic layer. The other thing that I've done is, you know, just taken string and tied it from side to side and hold that down. So you really need to think about which direction is the wind going to come from. Sometimes it swirls, so I will nail down pretty much all four sides, and that will uh, protect your plants. This arrangement should be good for a lot of your tender weather plants such as you know, like corn and beans and squash and melons, cucumbers, things like that because they're all going to need that frost protection. So you may have to play with a few different insulative layers to get the best protection and this cover arrangement will also work in the fall when you're trying to protect your precious tomatoes and pepper crops that have not yet ripened. So if you have a garden question that you would like answered, please click on the link below this video and submit your question. And if you'd like to learn more about high performance gardening and want to see us grow a whole season of vegetables week by week for 33 weeks, then go ahead and sign up for the High Performance Garden Show. So in the show, we follow a high performance garden from seed to putting it to bed at the end of the season. And this is the best insiders looked at watching everything that we do with the vegetable plants week after week, all season long. We'll also show you a professional trellising system for your garden. So the show, it's free, it's online, and you can watch it anytime. So go to thelivingfarm.org slash high-performance-garden-show to sign up, or you can click on the link below, and that'll take you to where you can uh, sign up for the show. So please subscribe to our channel for more high performance gardening information and go ahead and submit your garden questions so you can get the answers that you need. So I want to thank you for watching and until next time, may your garden be easy, fun, productive and always organic.